To get his patch, a biker has to go through a rigorous rite of passage designed to weed out the weak. Before a biker can become a member, he must be a prospect. As a prospect, you're required to do whatever a patchwork member tells you to do. The Sons of Silence take no mercy on their prospects, hazing them relentlessly. The Sons of Silence are kind of a throwback in the outlaw motorcycle game world. Uh, they like to punch the prospects in the mouth, headbutt them, kick them, do those kind of things, and just run them hard. Come on, Spec! If they holler for a prospect, you better get there quick. You don't kind of stumble over there, you run. Whatever you're told to do, you have to do. If it's pick up a dog turd off the floor and eat the you gotta do it. Big Larry says prospects aren't required to break the law. Because it's not their job. They're not a brother. They're not a patch holder. You don't ask prospects to do anything. Illegal. There is a loose interpretation of what illegal actually means. One of the duties is to help out patch holders get whatever they want, but also to assault anyone that they tell you to assault. When undercover agent Blake Bowler was prospecting, a patch member ordered him to go after a civilian who was bothering him at a motorcycle rally. He said, prospect, go clock that guy, which in our vernacular means go knock him out. If I don't do what he says, I'm gonna get boot stomped. Blake had just seconds to figure out his next step. If he broke the law, it would mean the end of his case. So, as I approach this individual, he sees me coming, he's got a bottle of liquor up to his mouth, and he's just holding it there, watching me approach him. And at this time, I had a 3D cell flashlight, and I pulled that out, and just as I got to him, I swung with all that I was worth, and I just hit that bottle right below his chin. The bottle flew out of the guy's hand, and he toppled over. Blake hadn't actually touched him, but hoped he'd made enough of a scene. One of the national vice presidents saw me and told me, Prospect, get over here. He stared at me for a second or two, and he said, Good job. And then, get out and get to work. Sometimes, it's better to be lucky than good. Only after a prospect makes it through these hurdles and is voted in by 100% of the chapter membership does he get his patch. The Sons award them yearly at Sturgis, their most important mandatory run. It's the members' last chance to torment the prospects, and they make the most of it, even dragging them through the fields in a shovel race. Then the club offers the patch, but only if the prospect can take it away from the entire group.